Hey guys, today I am going to have a little fun with uh, this isosceles right triangle. An isosceles right triangle means a right triangle having two acute angles each of 45 degree. So considering that uh, we bisect this angle of 90 degree like this or we make a perpendicular on the other side let's say we have its name as ABC so we get uh, two right angles here and uh, since uh, this angle is of 45 degree this one is of 90 so here we get an angle of 45 degree and in this right triangle we also get an angle of 45 degree so now let's divide this angle we get two right angles here this one's 45 and this one's 45 what about this if we divide this right angle we get two right angles here, this one's 45, this one's 45. Continue dividing the other right angles. Similarly here and here and here. Or maybe here, here, here 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 maybe here maybe here so in this way we get infinite right triangles within a right triangle each of them of which is an isosceles right triangle continue this procedure let's say we extend this to another right triangle here you can continue this division of an isosceles right triangle further we get two angles of 45 here two angles of 90 here now continue dividing these right triangles we can get infinite number of right triangles So now consider another case of a right triangle. Here we have the acute angles of 60 degree and 30 degree. Now when we divide this angle of 90 degree that makes a perpendicular on the opposite side, we get two angles of 90 degree each. This angle here in the upper right triangle is the complement of 60 degree. This becomes 30 degree and the angle below becomes 60 degree. If we continue this procedure further and divide the right triangle further. So here we get two right angles. This one is the complement of this 60 degree. So we get 30 degree here and this one is the complement of 30 degrees, so we get 60 degree here. On the other hand, when we divide the other right triangle, we get 30 degree here, 60 here. While expanding 
this procedure further we can extend it to as many right triangles as we like so here we get 60 degree and here we get 30 degree and this one is off 90 degree but when we divide this we get 30 degree here 60 degree here considering the y this further we get two 90 degree angles this one becomes 60 this one becomes 30 we continue dividing this further we get two 90 degree angles here we get 30 here we get 60 so in this case you can have infinite number of right triangles within a right triangle having same ratios of the angles or the complements of the angles so in this way you can have fun with triangles as far as you like thank you